In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install a connecting rod onto a piston or a piston onto a connecting rod um, using a heater. I'm using a used piston for this example but normally normally we either have a cleaned up piston or a brand new piston. The first thing you do is bring this over to this, uh, this fitting here and it's got a stopper. What's going to happen is when we slide this wrist pin in it'll be centered but if you push this back and the, the connecting rod is, is pushed to the back of the piston while it's centered, it'll be off center when you come back to the middle. So what we do is we center the wrist pin in the piston, center the connecting rod on the wrist pin, and then slide it back, slide them back as a unit, like that. And so it's a little bit off center now. We'll set up this stopper so that it will stop it at that, that position. I can set this for the height and the depth here. I can tighten this the piston to hold it down. Now while I'm setting this up, I'm just going to be careful here. Tighten the set screw. Now this this uh, wrist pin will come in and stop right there every time at the same place. That's what that was for. I've got the piston secured. Now also, something to be very careful about here, when I set this piston in this fitting, I looked at the top of the piston and made sure that the front of the piston was pointed towards me. That's very important. If you put it on backwards, you may not get a second chance. In fact, this whole operation has to be done perfectly or else you have to press them apart again and that often ruins the piston. So you really, really get one chance for sure on this and you want to make sure that you do it right. Now we'll place the connecting rod in the heater over here and I want to make sure that I've got the front of the connecting rod facing towards me. So I, I look for the marks that I've made that show this is the front of the connecting rod so that when I put them together, everything is perfect. Now this whole operation this whole operation has to be done in about three seconds we heat up the connecting rod so that it's bigger than the wrist pin once they're the same temperature the wrist pin actually is bigger than the hole in the connecting rod so we heat up the connecting rod so that the bore is a little bit bigger and this will slide right through we watch the timer when we put this in we we've been going for about a minute we watch the timer and you usually leave it in there for two minutes. If you don't leave it in long enough, this won't work. If you leave it in too long, the connecting rod gets red hot and that changes the, the properties of the metal and you probably don't want to use that connecting rod anymore. You'd throw it away and get a new one. So we have to make sure it doesn't stay in there too long. And the way that you can tell that it's hot enough is that when you pull this connecting rod out of the heater, the, the end of it will be blue. And you see that it's starting to turn slightly blue. Your temperature is right. And so we'll get ready here. It's almost there. And again, this is a pretty intense operation. You have, you have one chance to get it right, and you only have about three seconds to get it right. But you don't want to get too jittery, or you will mess it up. We did also make sure before we, before we started, we made sure that this wrist pin could slide smoothly into the piston. And we checked this, the bore on the connecting rod to make sure that it didn't have any burrs in it. If there are any burrs, this won't work either. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see how the end is, has got a blue color to it? That means it's ready. So I need to get prepared. I've got this bolt that I'm going to use as a tool to install it. Pull the connecting rod out. I've got about three seconds to get it in place. And push it in just like that. And while I do this, two important things. It, it went perfectly. I have to make sure that the wrist pin went all the way in and hit that stopper, and I also have to make sure that the connecting rod slid all the way to the back of the piston, because that's how I set it up. Now while it's hot, I'll take a little bit of assembly lube and drip it into each side there. 
That'll help to cool it, help it to seize, and you'll see how how that uh, the capillary action just causes that assembly loop to wick into the piston, and you'll see how nicely that turns. And we we'll double check that we set it up correctly with the arrow on the piston and the, the direction of the connecting rod, but that's how you do it.